Well, a very good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Imagine Cruising World Indoor Bowls Championships for 2024. We're live from Potter's Resorts here in Hopton on Sea, and we've got 17 days of absolute action packed bowls for you. Well, as a look at what's coming up, it's the first of our World Open Pairs games this morning. It's Peter Harvey and Kevin Douglas from South Africa. They're taking on Sarah Nichols and Ross Owen from Wales. So let's have a look at what we have for the rest of today. Well, as you can see, it's absolutely full for you today. Following this game, round about 11.15, it's Mark McPeak and Stuart Bennett taking on Rick Lyons and Jake Masterson. Two o'clock is Alan Yu and uh, Timmy Lau from uh, Hong Kong. They will face the English pair of Ian Catchpole and Aaron Johnson. And then following that game, around about a quarter to four, is Paul Wallace and Kenny Johnson. They're from Carlisle. They're taking on Jesse May and uh, Rachel Markerson. Well, everybody's ready here at the International Arena at Potter's Resort, so we're going to go live to our MC for the very first time, so please give it up for Jack Jenkins. Yes, thank you very much, Jason. We've got a small but very enthusiastic crowd in here in the International Arena for our first match of 2024. And first out this morning, we have a Welsh pairing featuring a former Commonwealth Pairs quarter-finalist and former World Under-25 semi-finalist. Please give it up for Sarah Nichols and Ross Owen. <laughs> Their opponents out for this match, both making their first debut appearance here at Potter's Resorts. From South Africa, please welcome out Peter Harvey and Kevin Douglas. Well, once again, everybody, very good morning to you. Welcome back to the fabulous Potter's Resorts for another Imagine Cruising World Indoor Bowls Championships. Joining me this morning is the lovely Emily Ferguson. Morning, Em. Morning, Jason. Thanks for joining us for a few days. You're welcome. Looking forward to it. Yep, good game here. First of the World Open Pairs. We are tuning in for the first time, slightly different uh, to the traditional play that we have at the uh, the World Bowls Tour. It's two sets of nine ends, and then there's a three end tie break if needed, if we can't split them, or you have two half sets. In red, we have Kevin Douglas, the lead here, and his skip Peter Harvey from South Africa. They qualified from the Durbanville Bowling Club just outside uh, Cape Town fortunate to be commentating on that one there they played very very well experienced players and uh, they're taking on the Welsh pair Sarah Nichols and uh, Ross Owen Ross uh, is uh, making a name for himself in Wales Emily He's playing at uh, such a high level he's come on leaps and bounds in the last couple of years so it's gonna be interesting uh, interesting game two bowl pairs well it's an interesting game it's uh, sometimes one from the front, I would say. <laughs> Two really good opening bowls from both leads there. Great start. If you are joining us on Facebook or YouTube, you can uh, pop your comments down in the comments page there. If you need to ask anything, we'll try and answer them the best we can for you. We'll have a few little competitions over the next few days as well, giving away some of our uh, World Bowls players' shirts. You'll get a choice of size and colour. We'll try and make the questions a lot harder for you this, this year. So 17 days we're with you. BBC will be joining us a week on Monday, all the way through to the final. Five world titles will be given over the next 17 days One as green. well.
Well, you can see what he's trying to do there. He's just trying to rest that shot bowl there, turn it a couple of times, make a two or three. Pace was good, just on that wider line, that down that backhand. New underlay this year for the carpet. It's a, a prototype. So it's a different type of underlay, not uh, one of the, the the average ones that you would see at a, a bowls club. So it's it's just playing a second and a half ish uh, on the speed it would normally play um, for the first day. But uh, a lot of the players have been saying it's it's still pretty true, if not a little bit true. One shot, Nichols and Owen. It'll be interesting to see how this uh, allows the qualifiers, more so the overseas. Uh, Set Emily, score zero I think one when after a one lot end. of the overseas people come, obviously the the South Africa pair, they they qualified on grass. It was a, it was a good grass green, a nice uh, quickish grass green, but uh, still not the same as playing on an indoor surface, is it? So obviously the slower the carpet early on for them will give them a little bit of a, a more advantage than what they would normally get. They've still got to play, of course, but uh, it'll be interesting to see what what happens over the next few days. Jack, length 24 and a half metres. There is an indoor in South Africa, but it's, it's only small. I think it's two rinks in, I think it's called mid, Midway, I think, something like that, towards Joburg. Good well start again, Sarah. Okay, with the Drake's Pride Professional, a little two, size two. Yeah, decent reply there. Just, just finishing what two ball feet ball behind. Ball. Gives a nice guide for Sarah here. If she can just rest that last bolt, she'll be in a very favourable position. There somewhere. Hmm. Not far one away. Green. Still one green. Good start for both of the uh, the leads. Just a case of just settling down the first few ends, isn't it, Emily? Get rid of the the little nerves if you do suffer from the nerves. I think it's far enough. I might need to stop. Yeah, just slightly overplayed it. If you can just sit it down. Oh, just didn't get back to it. Nice opportunity with his next one. Oh, if he can just drag that jack 10 inches or so. So that's ideally where Ross wants to be coming to now. Just resting the red ball, taking away that danger, and he can score another shot. It's just lacking that pace. Yeah, I'd be a little bit disappointed with those. Peter Harvey just needs to either sit, sit Kev's bowl, or if he gets a little cheeky touch on the jack, well, that'll be good as well. Yeah, just a tiny smidge would do it.
One shot, Nichols and Owen. Set score zero two after two ends. Track length 25 metres. Yeah, good opening ball here from Gavin. Yeah, really good reply there. If it just sits, it might be the winner. Just run. Yeah, really good effort that all over the line, just lacking that two foot of pace. One red. He's taken the safe line there. He doesn't want to get wrecked on that shot ball, but just lacking that little bit of pace. Yeah, the line was good. You know, he's playing with a, a Taylor Ace ball, nice bias ball. It's quite a popular ball here on the port floor, isn't the Ace? Can it just get down? Wrong side of it. Just taking his time. Obviously, we don't have the shot clock for the pairs format. Yeah, it looks like Ross thinks his last ball is probably just in the line, so he's switching here. A little bit more room. He just needs to rest on Sarah's ball, and he'll get the shot. Just slightly overplayed it. Just, uh, just over the pace. Well, they've all found centre of the rink. Nothing wrong with that length. One shot, Harvey and Douglas. Set score one two after three ends. So, one to the South African boys. They'll choose their length. It looks like they're going to go three quarter length. Track length, 28 metres.
top. I want to just time that pole. I've got that pole at 17.2 seconds. That's finished roughly about 27 meters, which is the length that is used to, to time a ball. So it's um, certainly not a bad pace up. That line's good. Just needs to throw the anchor out now. Well yes, played. really good ball, that. Can see him again? Both leads choosing to lead off the backhand. Didn't get away with two lines on this backhand. There's a, the, the wider line, which nine times out of ten the players will play. It's actually a slightly narrower line, but it's just a little bit heavier on the narrow line for some reason. It's odd. odd. Played it well. It falls back. Yeah, well, yeah played. well played. Really good ball that. Measure for shot. Bit more of an unusual delivery, Ross. He holds the ball more on the side, doesn't he? Yeah. And he kind of flicks it from. Yeah, it's not always um, the most smoothest, but. Very accurate at times, yeah. But very successful player, Ross. He's the current Welsh men's outdoor singles champion, and will be heading out to the World Bowl Singles Champion of Champions in November, which is being held in New Zealand. Yeah, you can see what Ross is trying to do here. He just wants to turn that red bowl away. Secure short, could even get two or three out of it. Yeah, if a tickle on the jack would be uh, favourable. Not far away, just all on the pace. It's just lacking all over the line there. Umpire, please. So I'm just going to call for a quick measure. Using the very trusted caliper measure, it's, uh, it's very secure. You see, you just rest the bottom of it just onto the carpet there. Just try and get as close as possible. Always go towards the bowl first because obviously there's less chance of moving the bowl than there is the jack. But uh, it is a, it's a very accurate uh, measuring device. Two mates there are umpire. Yep. Very good umpire. She's from Kent, she is. It's very close, this. Yeah. Slightly favoured the green one. You're right. One shot, Nichols and Owen. Thanks for all your comments on the uh, YouTube and Facebook there. I can see you all tuning in from all around the world. Hello to the Perth Pennants there from Australia. Also lots of friends in South Africa that I met out there. 
Nice to see you all. Set score well. one three Happy after New four ends. It's a very tight game, just four shots in four ends. It's um I mean two ball pairs, it's a it's a funny old game. I I personally don't like two ball pairs, playing two ball pairs. Jack length um, twenty four. It's meters. almost a game of singles with two players. It's draw, 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 draw. Not a lot of attacking shots, um, but, but it'll catch you out. You know, the better the better team will always always tend to win in a, in a two ball pairs. Where four ball pairs, you get a little bit, bit a little bit more luck involved because obviously the extra balls required. But, uh, yeah, there's not much room to hide in two ball pairs if you're not playing well. But really good start there from Sarah. Yeah, there's quite a lot of South Africans in the crowd there. It's changeover day here at Potters. They're, um, they have a massive uh, calendar for their New Year period. So uh, all the trusted bowlers will start arriving, so people will start coming in throughout the day. Yeah, hopefully the weather doesn't cause any delays to journeys. Two excellent balls from Sarah again. She certainly dropped on her length this morning very quickly. This is a fair reply, just needs to keep on running. given up but it's, it's a help that that'll uh, allow Peter just to play something a little bit more attacking down yeah. into that split you know he turns something onto the jack that's very good it's a lot wider you can see there it's almost two and a half feet wide yeah it looks very two inviting three. this is the first end really where this kind of shot has been made available to the players yeah because down the back end you can turn the red ball onto the jack the front red ball gets underneath turns it away sits in its place so Ross will be just playing a full draw just trying to get up to it and just slightly past Well, it's attacking it, it's going quick onto the jack. Ooh. Oh, it was unlucky not to get that third one out there. Yep. Two away, he played the good pace though, didn't get sucked into that just over shot. played yeah, good ball. still makes it available though almost the same shot Emily really gets them both forces his way through the split onto the jack will be very good needs to get down a little bit further oh, he's got one and the jack yeah it's gone off the side One shot, Harvey and Douglas. Set score two three after five ends. I see Steve's joining us there from the team at Disability Bowls England. Hope you're all doing well. Keep up with the great work. Jack length twenty eight and a half meters. So not quite. 
quite a full length. Full length on this uh, particular ink is 29 and a half metres, so it's just a metre short. Yeah, just looking to change it up because the Wales players have been favouring a slightly shorter length. Yeah, great opening ball there from Zara. She's really settled onto the pace quickly. She has, yeah. She's actually playing with a, a ball a size smaller than what she would normally play with. She's playing with a two on this uh, particular ink and uh, <laughs> certainly playing well with them. I know there's not a lot of difference between a, th a three and a, a two, but uh, she's handling them very well. Oh, well adjusted here. Just needs to fall in. Well, that's a good second. One green. Far away here, needs to get right back and sit full on the green bow. A little unlucky, probably just a little bit too quick, but it's, it's pushed it safe there and it's also pushed behind the jack, so it's just got a dead draw now. Ross will just look at getting another one in quickly. It's a big swing in hand this forehand in this direction. Yeah, just the weight. Hit that red and you're in. Well, chance for Ross to uh, add another one in, put a little bit of air between the players. Two feet anywhere around the jack. Still just lacking that pace, isn't he? Mm. He's played a few short balls, hasn't he, this morning? One shot, Nichols and Owen. Sarah and Ross Set now lead two, four, after four six shots ends. to two, three ends remaining. Double session for you this morning. The uh, prelims of the, the pairs all day. There's five prelims for you. Ireland versus Canada following, uh, following this game. So around about a quarter past 11, they get just the two ends in the middle bit. And uh, in commentary for the next game for you, for your pleasure. Darren Bennett and uh, Stuart Anderson will be with you for that game. Far away. Oh, well played. Sit right back. Mm. Good little battle at the front. Oh, 
I'll play it again here. She can get right back. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh. She was unlucky with the result there, but two brilliant bowls. Dreadfully unlucky. You can just see by the replay. I did it just to get a little bit further past the scene before she got the drop. But it's, it's still a good ball. You know, two ahead, that uh, really, really closes that head down. Kevin Lutcher just to draw to the last green bolt. Sit off it. A million miles away. One red. Yeah, a really good head of bowling there from both leads. It's finishing a good place, the second bowl of Kevin's. I mean, Russell just looked to draw to it. Both hands are available. Peter, well, he could draw down to the green bowl, turn it away, or even just squeeze the jack slightly to the side there, make a two or a three. Probably play the backhand here just to cover that, that little trail. Good effort. Yeah, probably just slightly overplayed that for what he was looking to do. But he's had a sighting out. Yeah, both players are playing the shots. Same shot off a different hand. It's just that uh, foot over, really. Nice little touch coming. Got it. Oh. Might have just done enough. Can't quite see from one this green. angle. Yeah, one green. Now, will Peter choose to attack this? I'm sure he's looking at where the jack would spring, because obviously green onto green should squeeze the jack out somewhere, but doesn't want to risk it going the wrong side. I mean, as it stands, it's 5-2 with two ends to play lying that one there. I mean, like you say, if he plays up and flicks his own bowl away, I don't think it's going to matter too much at this stage. If you can force force it on to the jack, like you say, any jack movement, bottom left, even if it springs up the green, you can just see Kevin pointing at that, that bowl there. So it's, it's one of them, it's a do or die. I mean, there's, mm. a, sh there's a shot you could maybe squirm a, a two out of it, but you could nearly drop a three as well. I think you've got to take your chance at, at, uh, at this stage of the uh, the first set. Just try and create something. One shot, Nichols and Owen. Well, good end of bowls up. Certainly Set was. Score two, five after seven ends. Jack length 27 and a half metres.
Unusual, slightly looser end from Sara. So Kevin needs to take full advantage. Get another one in, put a little bit of pressure on at the back. South Africa really looking to score this end, get them back into a chance of winning the set. On red. They've got a big chance here now, South Africa. Really needs to make this this count. This will be a big end if they can sneak a two or a three. Needs the air brakes. Double bounce. Mm, I think it's just gone out, but uh, there's always a trail on. Are asking it to hurry. Yeah. So for second, now Peter, forehand, a little tuck on this jack for a full house. Oh, Just a little touch of the white. Kitty would be good. Yeah, on that end, yeah. Just overplayed. Come searching for it. Well, the umpire comes on again. So there's a couple of questions there regarding the session times for today. So we've two double sessions. The uh, the second game in the double session always starts around about five or ten minutes after the. Uh, this one finishes so when this game finishes that's just an approximate time of 11 15 there because when Major you play the second shot. game in a session you just get the standard two end uh, trial ends so we're looking at around about 11 15 then a definite two o'clock start for the afternoon session and then the 345 again is a, is a rough estimate uh, we're never normally far away from uh, from those times but that's what it looks like don't forget as well we have an evening game for you this evening at half past seven it's going to be uh, Tom Warner and Perry Martin of England taking on uh, Martin Kreft and Richard Corey from uh, New Zealand. Lots of different countries on show for you today. It's always great to have the overseas qualifiers here. Certainly lots for them to do. I don't know the more they win, the longer they're here. But uh, this is a resort where you're never bored of things to do, is it, Emily? <laughs> Absolutely not. You've got the gym, swimming pool, there's archery, there's rock climbing. Snooker darts, squash. Um, what was that slingshot thing I saw someone zooming through the sky yesterday? <laughs> I think it was Colin Walker and Ronnie Duncan, actually. One yeah, my shot, parents were here just before Christmas and they did a welly throwing competition, I think. A welly throwing a competition? A welly throwing competition. What my what my dog walking well is, you'd pass out by the time you're throwing them. <laughs> <laughs> so still in with the fight. Two needed for a Set score half three, a point five each. Five after eight ends. I think they'd take a half a set at this this moment in time. Yeah, I think at the moment the Welsh players are just playing that little bit better. More consistent. Yeah, consistent's the word. Back yeah. 28 metres. Well, as we know, the beauty of sets play. We can see a game spin on its head just as quick as a see an easy first set. It's uh, very, very interesting. Yeah, absolutely. The key with set play, isn't it? As soon as you've lost a set, you just need to forget about it and completely start all over again. 
you're still within a chance. That's the start you want. Well played, Kev. And obviously, if it is one set apiece, it does go to a free end tie break. Just lost the pace there, Sarah. Yeah, that's just the last couple of ends. It's as much as a mental game, bowls is, is a physical game when you're playing, especially you know, you're playing the traditional format, the longer formats. You know, it's, you've got to keep that that concentration. It's very, very difficult. In for second. One red. Well, there's, uh, there's plan A, just to try and get that tide set. He's got the Brucey bonus of a third, so Ross will want to just look at getting this straight into it. Yeah, pressure's on now, really. All on pace now. Not a million miles. I think he's just going to fall away, you know. Well, it's up for now. I think it's probably third bar. Still a draw either way, doesn't matter at this moment in time. You've still just got to guarantee another shot with this bowl and uh, see what happens. Yeah, it's just choosing to switch. He doesn't want to accidentally turn Ross in and take that chance of winning the set away. It's not far off here. He wants to get the right side of Ross's bowl. He's turned it away as well. Yeah, brilliant. Well, that's free to South Africa. Pressure's on now for Ross. Well, this could nearly be a first set steal, being fair. You know, the, they've been playing some good stuff. I mean, Wales have been in been in control, really, for this first set, but that's a, a very good last end. Can they just sneak it? Absolutely, and obviously, throughout all the other ends, we've only seen one shot be scored. Now, he needs to stay up as long as he can. A little touch off, that will help. Well, oh, that's close for seconds. This is going to be close, yeah. I think it's two, definitely. I think it'll be a measure for the third shot. Well, this last end's certainly been very interesting. South Africa really stepped up there. Take that one, sir. So they're just removing. So it's uh, two to South two Africa at the moment. And uh, we're going to measure. This is a <laughs> this is a crucial measure for the set. Who's your money on, Jason? The front one. No, I might be wrong. I go for the front one, but I'm not sure. I was right yeah. for once. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Two shots, Harvey and Douglas. One. First set, oh. tied. It's going to be two 
for South Africa, and that's going to be a tied first set, so that's going to be half a point each. So I think South Africa will be very, very happy with that, and we move into the second set. Once again, thank you for joining us. It's great to be back here at Potter's Resorts for the Imagine Cruising World Indoor Bowls Championships. We've got a brand new brochure and lots of new trips and excursions for you, so let's have a little look at why Imagine Cruising is more than just a cruise. Well, there you go. Six Don't forget that, uh, that quote. Quote bowls, 24. And you'll get a 5% discount on uh, any of their, their trips. If you are joining us, they have a, uh, a stand here at, uh, at Potter's as well, so you can speak to people face-to-face. Uh, -face. I had a friend, actually, that booked one of their holidays after the championships last year. On, uh, exciting rail journeys. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Lots of new destinations there from the video. Japan was one of them. So have a look. Don't forget that important code, BOWLS24, for 5% discount. I love a good discount, me. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Wake's good, just bring in the bowls, all. Well played, Kevin. Kevin had had a little bit of a, um, a right. break away from the sport when I met him um, in South Africa back in August. He's now a, a father, had a, a little bit of a time away like most people do, came back to the sport, playing very, very well uh, out in the PBA qualifiers. I see there's a lot of you on from South Africa. So if you're on, I'm wondering, you know, how do you get to play in something like this? Um, speak to the uh, the branch there at South Africa they've got their own website Professional Bowls Association of South Africa on the Facebook page have a look contact them it's Easter weekend this year out in Cape Town fantastic four days of bowls guaranteed six games you are there so a little bit of a holiday for you as well I imagine cruising actually have a an office in South Africa <laughs> do a bit of both <laughs> That's a nice wide head that Ross just needs to nip inside, cut it down or get the shot hit. Not short. Good for so well, if you're going to drop a count, it's best to do it early on in the set. It gives you a chance to recover. Yeah, I think I think just manage them for Four them shots, just to Harvey sneak that us. little tied first set. It's just, you know, it's just boosted them, hasn't it? Give them that little bit of confidence boost. Just gone up a gear there, you know, played four really good bowls. Set score 4-0 after one end. But both Welsh players are used to bowling under pressure. Both of them headed out to the Gold Coast in last that year. 28 metres.
Yeah, another really good opening there for Kevin. So I just need to settle down on this pace again. Yeah, fair reply there. Oh, that'll finish well. You see what she was trying One to red. do, just rest the shot bolt. Get the inside edge. But that makes it nice and available for Ross now. Going for the bolt. Oh the, oh, the jack. Close. Got it. Oh, that little touch is good as well. Brings it back on track for the jack. So the bolt's in the centre of the rink. Where's the jack? Not far away from it. Looks like it could be too. Hard to tell from that angle. But just there. Uh, Two feet to the edge, that's all. Kevin's urging this. Probably just in for second. Still a good two yards of rim for Ross to add another hit, but drawing to the ditch is never easy, especially after just doing run a runner like that one. Yeah, just going to pull up short there. One shot, Nichols and Owen. Set score, 4-1 after two ends. Length twenty six and a half meters. Okay. Yeah, well done, Sarah. Started like a house on fire, just had that two or three ends, little, uh, little uh, drop down in maybe the concentration. But I mean, as well as, as the day goes along, you know, when the temperature changes slightly, people will start coming in now, especially because they're starting to be checking in and they'll, they'll come in and start watching. So the, the, the things change, yeah. atmospheric pressure and all that. I always find it very interesting how the, the speed of the green you know, changes throughout a day. 
in both ways. You know, it goes a bit quicker, then it'll slow down again for the evening game. It's a bit like when you play out in Australia, they have that, like a lily weed, don't they? And then obviously during the day, the pads open and it becomes a little bit quicker, then it, when it gets a bit colder, it shuts off and becomes a little bit stiffer. Yeah, two great balls there from Sarah. Two green. Small yard. You were a small yard. Well, on pace now. Not far away. You can tuck it round, sit behind it. Yeah, brilliant ball there. That's finished nicely, actually. It's not made the head any wider. I'd be attacking this if it was me. I mean, you could play a, a good draw eight inches away, still be three down. I'd just play nice and quick. Just try and remove a few balls or anything on the jack's pretty good as well. Just concentrate on hitting the target. He's going for it. Needs to bend quickly. Speed jack. Oh, no. That needs to stay in. Just left the ring. Yeah, so one green, I think. No, looking from that angle, there is a red behind. Having a look at it. Yeah. That red ball shot, wins Harvey it behind. There's a big ball that they were straight back in that set without uh, set score five that one jack being after hit. After three ends. Yeah, it was certainly the right call to play weight at that. Like you said, you could be an inch or two away and not quite cut it down. Percent percentage shot was playing through it. <laughs> See Kevin there, he's flung the jack in you. As soon as he let go of it, he knew he'd sent it two to three yards or a bit further than what he wanted. Jack went to 27 and a half metres. Easily done with the jack, isn't it, for those of you that play on a quicker surface? You know, the jack not being so heavy scoots across the top of the surface. This longer jack length, just slightly catching them out. About two foot a yard short. So need to adjust with the second. Yeah, not far away, but still good two foot of rim for Sarah to just draw around them.
Too red. We're going to have another year this year, Emily, a bit like uh, last year, where we get uh, wowed by one of the qualifiers coming through. I mean, that uh, epic final last year was great. You know, the viewing figures were huge for the sport, which is fantastic. And uh, wouldn't surprise me, something this year, the qualifiers just seem to get better and better. Perhaps the darts has inspired them as well with that young, that young lad doing so well in his sport. Yeah, Luke Littler did really well, didn't he? 16-year-old 16, 16 getting to the final. Not sure we've quite got as young qualifiers as that, but certainly some new faces. The Hong Kong lad uh, playing in the singles is 14 this 14, year. 14, wow. The youngest ever that we, we've ever had. Yeah, 14-year-old playing here on the Portable Ring. Um, so that's going to be uh, a fabulous experience for him. You know, he's coming over with his family. I mean, it's a fabulous experience for anybody, but to do it at 14 years of age and coming through a, a country, of, you know, like Hong Kong and obviously ac across their mainland China, so many bowlers, so many good, talented bowlers. So fabulous achievement already. Mm. One green. A little bit scrappy. Find a little gap, just pulling up. Yeah, this longer jack length just one shot, makes them really, but Wales managed to nip the one. Set score five two after four ends. Jack length, 28 metres. Good start. Well done. Good. Just a foot, hold on. Can he get by? Oh, lucky. You have to be yourself. Hit the tee, you just ball, just slide fast, it's fine. Sort of wide, you draw another on the back. Yeah, interesting call. <laughs> See Kevin there, don't get too excited. Is that skin in well? You can put the jack in the box, was his wording, which I'm assuming means the ditch, or a draw. Certainly capable of playing a, a weighted shot, is, is Kevin. I think he'll draw, keep it for Peter to play. Can you lift it? Can you lift it? Oh. Great try there, really unlucky. It's a 
I'm going to bowl in the head though, which is always good. Shows you how good that forehand is. Going all the way around the front. It's probably made another. Well, got the bat one. Yeah, it went away. Needs the parachute. The, yeah, <laughs> she needs to put the brake up. Well, that finishes all right. It's obviously not counting, but. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure I'd go again. It's only one away. We're free up on the set overall. There is rim in there to draw. Yeah, you can just see discussing the options. I'm just saying, look, if you land on that plant, then that's going to be a, a two down because his ball will run the other way. One green. I mean, if he played the forehand, I'm not sure. He could probably just get that green ball away without anything else for a pair, but there's a little bit of danger while he flicks the jack and the ball goes the other way. I think I'd just look at the scoreline, I'd just draw. Yeah, I think I would be as well. It's a little bit too risky. He is experienced, so he'll, he'll play the right shot, I'm sure. One shot, Nicholson Owen. Well, Sarah and Ross are just uh, closing the gap end by end. Sets to five two, two the after five ends. Yeah, we're certainly seeing some better bowls being played in this second set. Yep. If you fancy getting uh, a piece of the merchandise, we're going to be giving away one of our shirts in the uh, the second game this afternoon. Paul Wallace, Johnson, length, 25 May, meters. Marcus and Game. Emily and I will be giving, we're doing a little competition. We'll be getting rid of one of our shirts. You will get to choose which colour and also the size. So join us for that game there if you want one. Really good opener here.
One grain. Good effort. You can see what it's just trying to do there, down to the jack, down to the bowl. Probably just a foot foot over, which probably just kept him away. Phil's looking for something similar on the other hand, down to the bowl, down to the jack as well. So whoever gets it first will certainly make it really difficult. Just oh. gonna pull up here. Mm. Well, still available to Ross here. They could do with picking up a couple here to get them back into a chance of winning this set. All on pace. Well, certainly the shot. Yeah, well played. Two green. It's a good shot two ways. I mean, it's almost blocked Peter out from the shot he was playing. You see he's having to change. Yeah, it did finish nicely. Just prevented that trail. Get down. Sit down. How's done? Yeah, brilliant bowl that. Big bowl. Mm. One shot, Harvey and Douglas. That's twice now where Wales have been lying a, a pretty decent head, and you know Phil Harvey's played an absolute storming score, bowl. To, six three to sneak after the six ends. Jack length, 28 and a half metres. Nice to see Johan Duplessis on the chat there. Thank you for the nice comment there, Johan. Uh, Johan was the um, chairman of PBA South Africa last year and um, looked after me probably too well, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so, some of those wineries, yeah. Beautiful country. Yeah, I've never been, I'd quite like to go. Have you not been? It's, oh, it's stunning. Well played, Sarah. Yeah, it's a <laughs> certainly a stunning place. Same again from Sarah would be very good. I think this end's quite crucial for the set, really. I think you're right. More so mentally. You know, even if you just drop a one, it's still possible, obviously, but it's that psychological thing, isn't it? Four with two. It just needs to get down to the red or her own. This is a brilliant ball. Brilliant. Brilliant. Stunning. Well played. Yeah, brilliant. She's played well. Two green. I did say, didn't I, at the start, you know, for those that weren't on right at the very, very start, it's a new underlay this year. So um, it's a, obviously the flooring's from Dales, they've just designed this new type of underlay which we're using this year. So the carpet is only ever so slightly slower, it's still still quick compared to most uh, club greens. But I did say that it, it'd be interesting to see how it, it helps the overseas players, just that little bit slower. Um, and it's doing really well, they've adapted to it very, very quick. Yeah, because the pace difference coming from outdoors to indoors, even in a yeah. 
a quick one in South Africa, it's still going to take you a little bit of time to adjust. They've had some practice time before, obviously, but certainly favours those players who are consistently playing indoors on carpet. The wrong side of the jack for Ross there. I'm just wondering if he's tempted. I think he's tempted here to play quick for the two green balls. I think he's played the weighted shots very well. What surprised me is he have a little bit of a, a dabble at this on the backhand. Nice and quick for the, the two balls. Jack would be good, but you've got to go with it. Yeah. Now. In the area. Got something. Always unlucky, I think. So there's a toucher in the jet ditch, but the, the jack will go on the respot. I think they I think they're holding the respot, but uh, Ross has got a ball left, hasn't he? Yep. So it's, it's holding one one green and a ball to come. That's a good bowl, that. Yeah, it's in. Two. Two shots, Nichols and Owen. Well, again, it's going to be another set interesting end to the set. Set five after seven ends. Been a good game to get these uh, Imagine Cruising Championships underway this year. Jack length, 25 and a half metres. Yeah, decent opener there from Sarah. Certainly is. Piling the pressure on right from the start. Mobile phone in the auditorium. Played. Yeah, brilliant bowling that. The Wales supporters and the audience gave a nice cheer of support for that. Needs to run. Two green. All four bowls there in the centre of the rink. It's a good indication that the rink is playing well, allowing the polars to get back to the centre rink.
Fair effort, this. Oh, Needs look to at keep this. running. I'm full. Oh, must be stuck on the oh. grip. Kevin's trying to stare at it. To <laughs> look at him. Look at death stare. It's like Darth Vader. Sorry, doesn't want to get too close to it. Well, I think it is still one to green unless it falls down. Oh, oh it's done it. Hard to tell, but from here, the red looks in, doesn't it? Now, yeah, I unless, would. You, unless you're directly over, it's obviously hard to favour the red, but they're coming to have a look at it. In a way, it's probably better that it fell before he sent his ball. You know, at least he knows now what he's got to do. Yeah, you'd hate to let it go and then it fall just as your ball's being sent. Well, looks like the shot he's looking to play is green onto red. Turn that bowl away. Is it high enough? Difficult. Very difficult on here. Like I say, you can see what he was playing down to the plant. How brave are you, Peter? Peter could play down the backhand, get into the split between the green bowl and the jack. Make a two, sit off it, nearly make a three. Not a lot of danger if you're playing just that six or seven inches up to it. I Means it stands at seven five. He's electing not to take. I don't think there was a lot of danger there apart from getting to the back of the jack and falling back onto it, but it's his choice. One shot, Harvey and Douglas. And that leaves now Sarah and Ross needing a two. And that'll be two tied Set sets score, if they do seven that. Five after eight ends. I can't remember the last time we had two tied sets. I was going to say, it's quite unusual, yeah, isn't it? A long time, yeah. About four on the first end for South Africa has meant they've led the whole way in this set. Wales have played some good balls to bring it back. But Peter just managing to respond that and play some meters. absolute pearlers to win the end. But as we saw at the end of the last set, South Africa absolutely clawed it back to get the draw, so certainly available to Wales here. Oh, yeah, good opportunity for Sarah here. Really needs to lock on with the first bolt. Yeah, brilliant opening there from Sarah. It's just what she needed. Yeah, it's a good start. You're right. Yeah, finished right behind the jack. Well, that's 50% of what they need as a minimum. Kevin will just be looking to get at least a really, really good second. Just try and offer as little space as possible for them to allow Wales to get that second shot. Both shouting. Yeah, wrong, that's 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 our short look. Jack eight. Uh, she's already played a good one down this side. You just play good pace to miss that bowl either side. Anything but contact. Yeah, played, it played it really it. well. Can it get back? Here it comes. A little bit more. Oh, well played. Yeah, brilliant bowls there. Really good. It's not always easy when you've got that short bowl. Too it's great. not in your way, but it looks in the way and it can really play with your head. But Sarah just ignored it, tucked round. 
you know, you've played a really, really good ball. I mean, there's no point in changing, is there? Just, just stay with it. Like I say, just play to miss it either side. So again, we're in for a really interesting finish to this second set. So it's lying a tiebreak as we speak. Chance for Wales. Well, saying, well, I'm happy with this draw because I, I know I've got an extra bowl here. It's just covering this uh, this respot. Clever thinking. Yeah. yeah. Because if Peter attacks it and hits the jack, Ross knows he needs a pair. If he had drawn again, then that shot wouldn't have been there. It was very, very clever thinking. Yes, and it's handy that he's got the final bowl as well. Well, Kevin likes it. It's too quick. Well, big chance here for Ross. If he can add another, they're going to steal this set and the game. Yeah, just having too a quick green. look. Cause like you say, it's a big bowl. Um, he just needs to beat that front red bowl. Not easy. You know, 18 inches isn't a lot of room. Especially with that added little bit of pressure as well, isn't it? You know, that win. So. Exactly. He knows, well, if I draw this, we've won it. So he just needs to put that out of his head. And try his best to add another in there. So, forehand draw for the game. <laughs> nearly played this. Run, run, nearly played it. Is he going to oh. slip it and yes. fall? Yes. Yes. What a curler. <laughs> absolutely <laughs> brilliant ball under pressure the there. Really me. What an absolutely fantastic game of bowls that was. I mean, look at that first set. It was it was kind of like, it was Wales all the way. You know, South Africa stuck in and sneaked that tie. The second set was completely roles reversed. South Africa were the better team, you know, for the majority of the set. Wales had to dig deep. They managed to, and a fantastic last end played there. They're going to book themselves into the first round, and they'll play Mark Dawes and Jamie Chesney. So before we look at the schedule coming up, once again, we'd like to thank Imagine Cruising for their continued sponsorship of these World Championships. So let's have a look at some of the new destinations they have for us. I'd never been invited to do anything like that. You know, the old days of the, the boring holiday are over, I'm afraid, ladies and gentlemen. God, that hasn't got your taste buds tickling. I don't know what will. Don't forget to use that quote, Bowls24, for that 5% discount. So let's have a look what's coming up next. Well, it's another World Open pairs. It's the uh, prelim B. So it's Mark McBeak and Stuart Bennett will face Rick Lyons and Jake Masterson. We'll be back with you very, very shortly, but until then, it's a uh, bye-bye. <laughs>